All right, we are gonna do another mystery mail day. These were bought back in December. I have no idea what's gonna be in these, uh, so just excited to see uh, uh, and ref refresh my memory on what I was buying back then. But as always, we're gonna throw up uh, what I purchased each envelope for, uh, and then uh, we'll add to the counter as we go through the cards that are in here. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll get these out and uh, skip ahead. All right, so in here we got a couple of rainbows, uh, but uh, first off, he threw in a few base. We got Ryan Getzlev and Philip Hronik. And then we got Sven Barchi base rainbow. Uh, I think that's one card, eh? Sven Barchi, yeah. We've got uh, Bobby Ryan base rainbow. And then Johnny Goudreau base rainbow. And behind that, we've got our marquee rookie rainbow. And I am always, this is from 1819, I'm always looking to get the uh, the good marquee rookie rainbows because I think the rainbows are going to shoot up in value. And this one is a pretty good one. It is Andre Svechnikov. Uh, and uh, I think I would have done better than what I paid for by now. Uh, but I'll throw up what it was last sold for. Uh, and hopefully it eclipses what I paid for over there. Uh, but you'll see up there whether it is a red or a green number. But regardless, I think that this card will be a good uh, a good investment long term. Um, because Marky Rookie Rainbows, I think, are going to shoot up like they did in basketball. Well, the silver prisms. Uh, so we'll sit on that and find out down the road. All right, we're going to jump into... Parcel number two, uh, and you'll see up on the screen what I paid for this, and then we will see what is inside and add to our counter on the right. All right, so we've got some more Marky Rookie Rainbows here. This guy threw in one of these cool redemption offers of Tommy Salo, but then we've got Pavel Francouz in the Marky Rookie Rainbow. Uh, Timothy Liljegren. By the way, Pavel Francouz, I'm going to be uh, selling a lot of his stuff because uh, if you check his birth date there, he is... 32 years old this year. Uh, I can't imagine he's in the league past, like, 35, 36 kind of thing. Uh, so uh, buy well or sell while he's still uh, he's still hot. Uh, I don't think people know how old he is yet. Uh, but uh, Timothy Liljegren, he's a lot younger and uh, has, a, has a much better shot of sticking around this league. And Keandre Miller is the big one in this one for me. I have a, I have a really... Uh, uh, I'm really high on Miller. I think he's going to be quite a player in this league. And you can see he's uh, only turned 22 uh, this year. And a uh, young kid with a lot of upside, a lot of potential. And then we've got three numbered cards here from OPG. The Black Border Retro. So 20 out of 100 there for Brett Connolly. Uh, Darcy Kemper as well. Uh, but the big one that I was going after in this one, Evgeny Malkin. I think he's a future Hall of Famer. And I've been trying to pick up uh, any numbered card or numbered under 100 of uh, future Hall of Famers. So in this case, Evgeny Malkin, 9 of 100. Very cool. So uh, I don't know if I would have done well. well I, had, I, I don't know if the Malkin would have sold recently uh, since I last bought it. So uh, there might not be a price for that one. But we'll see what we can find for values and throw up uh, potentially how well I did. Uh, and we'll see if there's a green or a red number on the right there indicating if I did okay or not. But regardless, those will be ones I sit on and we'll see uh, We'll see how they pan out long term. Now we get into parcel number three. Uh, and I'll throw up on the left what this was purchased for. And then we'll see how much I can butcher this package before I get into it and show you what is inside. And as you can see, more marquee rookie rainbows and we'll jump ahead to getting them all out. All right, so all these marquee rookie rainbows again. We've got Ole Yo Levy, uh, marquee rookie rainbow. Alex Belzeal, another older rookie. I think he's uh, nearing 30. Yeah, he's a 91, so he's over 30 as well. Uh, then we've got Shane Bowers, Ty DeLandria, uh, Mikey Anderson, Timothy Liljegren again, uh, Thomas Harley. I have some high hopes for him. Kiefer Bellows. And Pierre-Olivier Joseph, who is a player that I think is uh, super underrated. So if you see his stuff at a good price, pick him up. He's going to be uh, what I think is good. he's going to be a, a, a valuable player in this league at some point. He's, uh, he looks like he's got uh, some high upside. And on the Penguins blue line, uh, that could turn into something pretty special. Uh, so last parcel, actually, we'll see on the, the right there how how we performed with that parcel. And then we'll close it off with uh, the last parcel here. And it is a, it's in a one touch. And I'll throw up right now what I paid for it. And it is Aaron Ekblad. Yes, I was picking up his stuff 
Uh, he has been on a tear the last little while, like in the last uh, year and a half, I'd say, even going into what he ended up having a pretty severe injury uh, back uh, last year. But uh, in the time he's played, he's performed uh, incredibly well, and uh, I don't think the hobby's given him enough love. Uh, so there's the card in all its glory, uh, a OPG Platinum. See if I can turn it around here. OPG Platinum Rookie Auto. Very nice card. Uh, I don't know if this would have sold again recently, uh, but I, uh, regardless, I'm holding on to this card uh, for a little while because I think he's going to finish his career as a uh, potential Hall of Famer. I think he's got a ton of upside, and there's even uh, potential to be a Norris Trophy or a couple Norris Trophies in his future. I really like this kid. Uh, so yeah, we might even end up seeing a couple more of his stuff, if I'm not mistaken, uh, come out of some future envelopes from Mystery Mail. But that is it. That, uh, that was a heavy, marquee rookie rainbow day, uh, and a nice way to finish off the platinum getting some love. Uh, so as always, if you did like this, give us a thumbs up. It helps us out. Uh, and if you want to see more content, we do different stuff all week long. So uh, follow us and, uh, and see uh, see if it's your cup of tea. Uh, but thanks again for tuning in. And as always, take care.